Next speaker is Madhu Misra. Hello. Yes, you are audible. Okay, so is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am genuinely grateful for having the opportunity to present my work here. The topic I will be topic, uh, to talking about is higher derivative action in n is equal to 2 supergravity, which will be based on this work that I did with Pindusar. A little disclaimer, because of time constraint, I have kept the talk very non-technical. Uh, so, okay, so this is an outline of my talk. I'll start with motivation, where I'll talk about what inspired me to study the higher derivative actions in supergravity. Following with the formalism required, results be obtained and its significance, and I will end by uh, end by mentioning some of the future work. All right. So our starting point and motivation was black holes because of its key property that they have an entropy. In 60s and 70s, Bekenstein and Hawking uh, wrote down this very pioneering formula for the entropy of black holes, which is given as follows. As you notice, this formula has all the universal constants, so it can describe gravity, relativity, quantum mechanics, and statistical physics, which is extremely interesting. Now, the natural question one asks is, could we give Boltzmann interpretation to this entropy? Can we write black hole entropy in terms of microstates of black holes? Well, it turns out, for uh, asymptotically flat extremal black holes, we can, and that's what Strominger and Waffer did in 1996. They calculated black hole entropy in string theory by realizing black hole as a brain system. Their result agreed with Bakkenstein and Hawking uh, results, and it also provided subleading corrections to the entropy. Note, although the leading term of entropy is universal, the coefficient alpha and beta appearing in the subleading correction will depend on a given theory. However, due to lack of experimental evidence for string theory, one relies on some theoretical tests to verify the mathematical consistency of string theory. And supergravity theory, being the low energy limit of string theory, can provide such consistency checks. And this is where higher derivative terms in supergravity comes into the picture. So higher derivative terms in supergravity can provide a subleading correction to the black hole entropy. And matching of macroscopic entropy computed in supergravity with the microscopic entropy calculated in string theory can give us the mathematical consistency check for string theory that we were looking for. Other than that, ADS safety correspondence also provides strong incentives to study high derivative terms in gay supergravity theory. Uh, now I would like to lay out some of the terminology that I will be using going forward in this talk. So multiplet is nothing but the set of fields that transform among each other under supersymmetry. While multiplet is a multiplet in superconformal theory that contains gauge fields like gravitini and graviton. Meta multiplet uh, is a multiplet with highest spin less than or equal to uh, one. For example, chiral multiplet, vector multiplet, or hyper multiplet. They're also known as compensating multiplet. And the reason for it will be clear uh, later on this talk. And density formula in conformal supergravity are conformally, super conformally invariant actions given either in terms of an abstract multiplet or in terms of known multiplet, such as vector multiplet or chiral multiplet. All right, uh, so now that we are uh, familiar with the important nomenclature, I would talk about very famous formalism, which is used to construct higher derivative action in supergravity theory, the, uh, the superconformal tensor calculus. Uh, so it is based on gauge equivalence program, where one start with extra symmetries and finally construct a theory with a lower group of symmetry. And it is useful to construct off-shell Poincare supergravity theory. Okay, so this is an uh, this is the flow chart that describes the gauge equivalence program. Uh, I'm really sorry if the texts are not visible clearly, but bear with me. I will try to explain each of them one by one. So uh, first, we will discuss till this point. So first, uh, first step is to construct a gauge theory for super conformal theory, and for that we will assign gauge field to each generator. So these are seven generators of super conformal theory. And these are corresponding generators, and these are corresponding parameters. Uh, now, to make this theory a theory of gravity, we need to identify local translation with general coordinate transformation. 
and that will require us to impose some constraint on the curvature and due to these constraint uh, some of the gauge fields get dependent and these are the gauge field that get dependent and now if you calculate the option degrees of freedom of independent gauge field they will not match thus we will need to add extra fields to make sure the option degrees of freedom matches and these extra uh, fields along with the independent gauge field will form a while multiplet and it turns out in 4 5 and 6 dimensions there are two inequivalent choices for the auxiliary field giving rise to two inequivalent while multiplet commonly known as standard while multiplet and dilton while multiplet a uh, one can work with either of the while multiplet all right so now we will go back to this uh, flow chart so i've described till this point once we choose uh, which while multiplet we work with uh, we will couple it with appropriate meta multiplet also known as compensating multiplet because it compensates for the extra symmetries we have introduced in the theory finally we will embed it into a density formula to construct the invariant action in super conformal theory now the gauge fix extra symmetry we will of and kare action all right so now that we are familiar with uh, super conformal tensor calculus method uh, i am going to list down some of the results Uh, already known results so uh, uh, there are various uh, known density formula in n, n is equal to 2 super gravity in four dimensions for example carrel density formula tensor vector density formula and another density formula which was constructed using some abstract multiplet there are two types of while multiplet in four dimension although the standard while multiplet was known uh, in four dimensions since long time the dilton while multiplet was constructed in 2017 by bindu sar and his collaborators uh, and there are various uh, high derivative action has been constructed in n is equal to 2 super gravity using standard while multiplet multiplet for example in 1981 these authors constructed while tensor square action in 2013 these authors uh, constructed ricci tensor square, combination of ricci tensor square and ricci scalar square action built out of non linear spiral multiplet and in 2015 ricci scalar square action was constructed by these authors now that i have given uh, now here i have given uh, given a field content of standard uh, while multiplet and dilton while multiplet where in red i have denote, uh, denoted the independent gauge field and in blue over here are the auxiliary field unlike previous work we chose to work with dilton while multiplet for our construction of high derivative action in n is equal to 2 super gravity in four dimensions and here are few advantages of using dilton while multiplet one of the advantages of using dilton while multiplet is that only one compensating multiplet is required uh, uh, to go from super conformal theory to super poincare theory whereas uh, standard while multiplet needs two compensating multiplet another advantage of using dilton while multiplet is that it has in inbuilt two form field which is not present in standard while multiplet and any high derivative action that would come from the construction that might come from the compactification of string theory should have a two form field while the dilton while multiplet has a two form inbuilt inbuilt in it Uh, the two form field in construction involving standard while multiplet must come from some another uh, meta multiplet other than that uh, other than that the reason we chose to work with dilton while multiplet is the existence of map between young mills multiplet and dilton while multiplet in point carrier theory so in this work uh, we reported the construction of arbitrary curvature squared action coupled to arbitrary number of vector while vector multiplet using dilton while multiplet we found a map between uh, dilton while multiplet and young mills multiplet in poincare theory and we used uh, this map to construct the uh, riemann square invariant action uh, the complete action was encoded in a single holomorphic free potential g where this x is a complex scalar of vector multiplet this b a and p are composite fields constructed out of different fields of meta multiplet now the free potential can be Uh, expanded as follows where g is equal to z 0 g is equal to the small g is equal to 0 will describe the minimal part of the lagrangian and the small g greater than or equal to 1 will give us the series of interaction terms which are quadratic in curvature with field dependent coupling 
Hence, by appropriately choosing the pre-potential g, for for instance, if we chose uh, if we choose g is equal to one, we will get a purely curvature square terms in the action. And by appropriately tuning this uh, coefficient alpha, beta, and gamma, we can write down an arbitrary curvature square term coupled to arbitrary uh, holomorphic sorry uh, holomorphic uh, function of vector multiple. Okay, for the significance of our result. So one can use this result to test the non-renormalization theorem, and we can use this uh, action to investigate the ADS4 black holes and holography principle in n is equal to two gay supergravity constructed out of Dirac and Weil multiplet. For future work, and these are some ongoing work as well. So we have in, in recent this paper we have constructed n is equal to three conformal supergravity action. now in current uh, currently we have uh, we have obtained vector multiplet and we are trying to couple it with conformal supergravity action to obtain a n is equal to 3 point carrier supergravity action other than that we are also working on this uh, subleading corrections to the entropy of asymptotically flat black holes in n is equal to 4 supergravity theories and with amita we are looking at thermodynamics of near bps black hole in ads Uh, these are some other areas of interest so i'm interested in double copy construction fluid gravity correspondence and supersymmetry anomalies uh, thank you so now now i can take questions thank you modu we can take up one or two short questions right uh yeah modu can i ask something here yeah yes yeah, sure yeah So for uh, alpha, beta, gamma, for all these three parameters, you have a supersymmetrized uh, uh, action. Is that uh, correct? Is is this yes. you said? Yes. 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 So these alpha, beta, gamma, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. And the alpha, beta, gamma can be different for different values of g, right? I mean, it's just symbol there, right? Yes. Right? So they are. The, so basically, what I mean is, if you put. uh like to if you want this riemann tensor square you can put beta and gamma to zero and you will just be you will just have this riemann square action but that will come from some particular term right which is g yes yes right? so uh, yes here yeah. so this riemann will come from this curly a because there is this alpha coming so this all the terms which are coming with this curly a will give me something which is proportional to riemann tensor square action oh you mean all powers of a will give will all contribute to riemann or a square or a so a is equal to 1 so mm. this small g, g. g is equal to 1 g is equal to 1 will give me riemann square if we take g is equal to 2 this riemann square will be uh, will have something uh multiplied with it some other curvature term multiplied with it so it will be higher derivative right so yeah. yes it okay. will be higher derivative for example uh, in our lagrangian we have worked till g is equal to 2 so we we have terms like uh, maxwell field multiplied with this curvature square so higher derivative term okay. more than four derivative i mean okay. thank you yeah thank you okay thank you